Maine Regional School Union 21 encompasses the schools of Kennebunk, Kennebunk Port, and Arundel. Our students enjoy living in one of New England's most beautiful and accessible locales. Approximately 2,800 students attend our six schools where they are prepared for meaningful citizenship okay, through a wide variety of academic and co-curricular programming. The mission of RSU 21 is to challenge and support all learners to acquire the academic knowledge and personal skills needed to be responsible, contributing citizens in a global society. It's a great place to bring up children. It's a wonderful community to live in. And um, why would you want to go anywhere else? I think it's a very warm and welcoming environment from the moment you walk in the door and I felt it from the first day that I walked in and I think where I'm at as a principal is I want to make sure that anyone who comes into our school, a student, a staff member, a parent, a visitor, when they come into the middle school that they feel welcome. I, there are so many things I like about Kennebunk High School. I think this is a wonderful community to live in and to raise children in. I like the fact that um, the parents demand a lot of the school, and I also like the part that they're so supportive. I, I was a proponent of, of private school for my kids um, because of where we've lived in the past, and I am just thrilled with the public education in Kennebunk. Uh, the perception coming in was that Kennebunk had a very good school system, and we have not been disappointed. Uh, I think it's probably exceeded our expectations. This school is filled with dynamic teachers. Um, where these kinds of things are encouraged. These kinds of things are what goes on here with the teachers in, the, in, the, in this building. You have a, a ton of passionate, caring um, educators in this building that is, that's just contagious. Yeah, I think we have some great teachers, especially there's a lot of good relationships to be formed between you know, a student and a teacher, and you know, that only helps the whole education. So I think that, that is probably the thing that stands out the most is um, you know the positive energy, um, the the benefits of seeing students strive for excellence, setting goals for themselves, and so, you know not always meeting those goals. So it isn't it isn't always about seeing them attain their goals. It's about seeing how they work toward them and how they handle either the attainment or the failure in um, not reaching those goals. It is a wonderful building with a staff and support system that is, to me, heads and shoulders above the rest. I've taught in quite a few, quite a few schools, three schools, three or four schools, but this school here just has something special about it. The key aspect to any school is the staff that are in the schools. And the group that we've encountered here at RSU 21 is second to none. They care. They come in every day caring. Uh, they work as hard as they can possibly work. They are constantly learning right alongside with the kids. I often ask new students when they come into school here, after they've been here for a month or so in the middle school, how's it going? And you know, I don't think, I can't think of one instance since I came here in 1981 where a kid hasn't just been uh, glowing about their experience here. RSU 21 has embarked on an ambitious course of academic programs, including becoming only the second school in Maine and one of only a handful of schools in New England to offer the International Baccalaureate Program. I think it starts with um, the, support, uh, the support from the community. Kennebunk is a town that supports uh, its schools it, and, and its youth. Uh, it, it is, uh, they value, it, they clearly value, and, and a manifestation of that is uh, the determination to go with the International Baccalaureate Program. The International Baccalaureate Program was formed in the early 60s. It was actually formed in Geneva. It was originally um, formed for children of diplomats and what the organization did that got together, they took what they perceived to be the best features of the different educational systems. You know, it provides students with an opportunity to to really rise to the top and challenge themselves. It's a, it's a very skills-based program. And they're really hoping that when our students, as they come here in sixth graders, they see themselves somewhere on that learner profile and by the time they leave as eighth graders, you know, as if we're looking at a scale that they would be going up, that they are better communicators, that they're more knowledgeable, uh, that they are more caring about their fellow man and the environment and their community. I'm doing this right now, what would it be like doing it in a different country? Like just thinking about other places around the world, not just your little bubble that you're living in and like.
I think it's looking at students as, again, global citizens, as young as they are. Um, it's ensuring that children have a, an, an, uh, an understanding of the fact that they live in Kennebunk, but that's in the state of Maine, in the country of the United States, and in the world. Um, and that we all are citizens that can contribute to, the, to everyone's betterment. Um, so for example, um, when a child in third grade comes to me the day after the tragedy in Haiti and says, what can we do? And we let that child take a friend and move forward and you see all the hearts for Haiti sign outside. That happens because of children. I actually think it's a great school district. I am a parent who looked at other school districts. I've um, interviewed at Chevrus and Wayne Fleet and brought my children there and gave them an option to say, where do you feel comfortable? Uh, looked at the academics and you know, two of my kids are in this district for that reason. The academics are excellent.